What's up everybody, Zach Michael here, and today we're going to be making a little baby slash section 8 beat. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out elizabethrecords.net to go purchase all sorts of cool quality sound kits, drum kits, loop kits, and MIDI kits. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I got this sample here from my loops that I give out every single week to producers. I give it 100 loops, and this is one of them in here. We're going to use this piano loop today to create that vibe we're looking for. So that's the loop we're going to be using today. Basically just a very simple piano progression that has a ton of effects on it and a ton of processing to give it that little baby vibe. So we're going to get and get started here. Now the bounce snares we've added, which are these, have a lower velocity. So they don't hit as loud. That's gonna be the pattern we use for the snares. Now a lot of little baby ba beats will do a, a third hi-hat, which sounds like this. But I don't think that's gonna fit well with this loop, so we probably won't do it, but we can give it a listen regardless. But this is definitely something Lil Baby does a lot, his beats in section eight. But we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna do a two step instead, just because it fits the loop better. sort of low notes here just to add some bounce in our hi-hat. We're gonna use this bonus points 808 here. You can really use a lot of different 808s because Lil Baby has a bunch of different songs where he uses all different types of 808s. the Melodyne MIDI for the loop. Layering a clap, instead of it being like that, it's gonna be like this. Just gives like a little more power to the snare. Those are our drums right there. We have enough going on in our drums. I wanna keep a lot of room for an artist, especially an artist like Lil Baby who would, you know, spit a lot of like stuff on here. They need a lot of room to be able to really get some of those flows off, you know? So you gotta leave room open, your beats. Like a lot of producers tend to do this wrong. Like when they're making a beat, they don't realize that like the beat isn't the finished product, the song is. So you gotta leave room for the artist to be able to get the song in. Otherwise, like it's just another beat, you know? So you gotta keep open space. Perfect. 
version of this without the bouncing ears. First, I'm use this draw for sound effect. Switch it up a little bit. Cut all these low notes out. And same for this section. Just like that, we have an arrangement here. But uh, I mean, the big keys, this type of a beat, or you really need to have that nice, like, cinematic sounding piano. You gotta have very open drums. You gotta choose the right sounds. That's really the secret to it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in another video. Check out Elizabeth Records on up. Head on over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.